All right, it's recording. Go ahead. All right. My name is Michael Wood. I'd like to show you a few pieces of a fossil I discovered in upstate New York in the Finger Lakes region. Uh, I believe that this is a fossil of a large snake. Uh, there's several reasons that I believe this. Uh, the pieces all seem to be consistent with that theory. Uh, I believe that this is the head and uh, on the head alone I've counted 40 points of anatomy in their correct position to be a snake. Uh, without getting too minute with the details, I believe that this is an eye and this is an eye. Uh, they're equidistant from a midline and uh, many parts of the, uh, the, the head and the other pieces, uh, they're, they're consistent with that. There seems to be a midline and you can take measurements and the uh, the uh, lateral uh, structures seem to be a very uh, in very close proximity, give or take an eighth of an inch of, of the midline. <coughs> Pardon me. I uh, have a CAT scan of the head and of uh, another piece that I call a large body piece, and uh, that. The uh, CAT scan also, I believe, is uh, consistent with a midline and lateral lateral anatomy that uh, is uh, very, very similar. Uh, I'm going to follow the, the head around. I believe this is the top of the head. And uh, I believe this is the roof of the mouth. Uh, at the front of the head, there appears to be the base of a retractable tooth. Now uh, there appears to be a duct that supplied the retractable tooth with venom. Uh, where the tooth seems to be pushed away from its original position and part of the duct is hooked to the back of the tooth and where it enters uh, uh, the back part of the uh, the skull here you can look in the end of the duct and the material in it seems to be the same both at both places where it's tore that's not explaining it very good but it, it, it appears to be the same material inside that duct uh, on this side I held this up uh, and looked at a, a whale one day uh, the bone structure of the head of a whale and where each of these areas that appear to be bones are it, it looked very similar to, to the skull of the whale so I believe that uh, some of these are bony prominences uh, that have been broke off uh, on the back of the skull I believe this is the the axis bone and uh, there's a uh, structure here that runs uh, laterally from the center line and it appears on both sides. This, this evidence is, uh, is in the CAT scan. It arises at the same place uh, as you travel into the skull and it is, uh, once again, it is uh, give or take an eighth of an inch uh, the same distance from the center line. Um, I, I'd like to show another piece. I believe this is a part of the lower jaw. It, it fits right here and uh, it articulates directly with a little piece of what I call skin that was scraped off from the lower jaw and attached to the maxilla and you can roll the piece and it fits 
absolutely perfectly right there and so that's why I believe that little piece of skin got tore off from this. On the roof of the mouth there is four triangles that uh, once again are, are equidistant from a midline and, and they all are very similar. I believe that was the loose skin inside the, the mouth And I'm just one more time. I would like to to show the the lower jaw and the upper jaw together. Now on the side of the head, there's a, there's a cavity here, and this piece is what I was talking about in the CAT scan. It has the same structure as over here, and if you put that in that cavity or at least as close as you can into that cavity the uh, this struck these two structures are equidistant from the midline and what I'm determining the midline is I believe this is where the spinal cord exited the head now I'm going to grab another piece I believe that this is part of the snake's body uh, a friend of mine raised large snakes, he thought it would probably be somewhere around five feet back from the head, maybe a bit farther. I, the, the way it appears to me is it, it got smushed and uh, I call this the skin uh, also on the head. It, it, uh, the, it, the skin it appears to be the same material. It, it got smushed down and flattened out and I believe the snake's guts got pressed out and uh, I believe that this is a frog right here that got pressed out between the specialized scales on the bottom of the snake. The scale, specialized scales seem to have had great pressure exerted on them and it appears the, the, the frog smushed over here and uh, and I believe there there's uh, guts smushed out here, and uh, and I believe uh, I'm not sure, but I believe that this is a bird that got smushed against the mud and, and fossilized in that manner. Looks like the battery's gonna quit. Then I have a. CAT scan of this piece in the head, I believe this is a, a larger body part. It's uh, 15 inches approximately by a little more than 15. Uh, the head is three and uh, three eighths inches at the nose and five and uh, some inches at the back, almost six inches. The, the large body part, I have a CAT scan.